Dan from Somatone again. In this video I'm talking about platform optimization in FMOD and its new features in 1.10. Getting audio right for each platform requires an understanding of the key features and limitation each platform has, such as what audio codecs are available, is there a limit to download size, how much RAM is available, how powerful is the CPU, and other questions that you need to understand to deliver the best audio experience you can. FMOD Studio makes it easy to develop and optimize by making one project and exporting to multiple platforms. In this project, we can set encoding formats and loading strategy for each platform, and new in 1.10, we can set which content and DSP plays on which platform. The general range of platforms runs from desktop with the least limitations to mobile with the most limitations. On a desktop, you generally have lots of memory, a powerful CPU, and unlimited download size, whereas on mobile you have limited memory, a less powerful CPU, and a small download size with the added limitation of battery capacity. These limitations affect how we design and implement audio for each platform. Let me show you how FMOD addresses these challenges. In FMOD Studio, we have our platform build list and our preferences build. For each platform, I can specify the speaker mode and the default encoding format and quality level. Generally speaking, when you make a new platform, by right-clicking Add Platform, FMOD will default to the recommended encoding. So on desktop, this is Vorbis. On mobile, this is FAD PCM. And on the proprietary systems, XMA for Xbox and AT9 for PS4. In the audio bin, we can override the default encoding per platform on a per asset basis. So say my racing ambience I don't want to stream it on Windows, and instead I want it to be a FAD PCM. Now if I go down to Platform, I can switch this to PS4, and we can see it's back to its default encoding. New in FMOD Studio 110, we can set which tracks and which effects run on which platforms. So in my ambience events, we can see I have two fairly long files playing and a scatterer. I need to decrease the file size of my audio for mobile, so I'm going to switch to my Android platform. I'm going to highlight my CPU intensive tracks and go to Include On and deselect Android, iOS, and Vita. So instead, I'm going to import a shorter sound, and I'm going to loop that for the same length, and I'm going to set that to only play on mobile devices. And we can see we have this new button when we start to change platforms, so we can quickly access this menu. So on mobile, our ambience is going to sound like this. And on Windows, our ambience will sound like this. And so we see when we're on a platform, the tracks that are not included will be grayed out and the tracks that are active will not be. So if I switch to Android, we'll see that the event flips. We can also set which effects are used on a per platform basis. If I go to my reverb bus, we can see I have a convolution reverb set up here and I want to exclude this from my mobile devices. So I just right click include on and same thing, remove from Android, iOS and Vita. And instead, I'm going to insert a delay and then only include those on mobile devices. And the icon lets us know this is not set to play on all platforms. So our reverb bus on mobile, it'll sound like this. And on Windows and the other powerful platforms, it will sound like this. FMOD's platform optimization tools allow us to have a single project for all platforms, have a centralized management and testing environment, simplify the development and maintenance of a project, and make it easy to reuse content on multiple platforms. Download FMOD Studio 110 at fmod.com. Thanks for watching.